Lines are used as a part of so many things in math, but what exactly makes up a line? In order to know what a line is, we have to start with a point. A point is a location in space that has no size or shape. We represent a point with a dot and we label it with a capital letter. So we would refer to this as point A. Once we have a point, we can then go on to create a straight line. A straight line is a set of points that extends forever in two different directions. We show it goes on forever or to infinity by putting arrows on both ends. We can name that line by using two points along it and label it. So this would be line AB. When we write it symbolically, be sure to put a line symbol over the name so other people know what type of line you are referring to. Now on that line, there's more than two points. There's actually an infinite set of points. When we have an infinite set of points on the line, these are referred to as collinear points. Collinear points are points that all lie along the same straight line. So points A, B, C, D, and E are all collinear. We could name the line using any two points on there. But what if we don't want our line to go on for infinity? What if we want our line to have a defined starting point and a stopping point? Then we would have a line segment. A line segment is a portion of a line with a defined starting point and a defined stopping point. We could refer to this line segment now as line segment AB. In order to differentiate it from a line when writing it, we would put a line segment over the name instead of a line symbol. There's another way we could take part of a line, and that is with a ray. If we have a ray, it has a defined starting point, and then it extends on forever in the opposite direction. Again, we could name that ray by using its defined starting point and one other point along the ray. So this would be ray AB. In order to show that it's a ray, we would need to make sure we put a ray over the name symbol so other people would know that when they read it. From here, we can take what we know about points, lines, line segments, and rays and combine them in different relationships.